Welcome to the number one, Ooh. the overall number one seed, the what we are dubbing the ultimate tater of this bracket, the Rock Hill Farms. Jimmy and I hit on it on the mm -hmm. video before. It's about a 55-ish, $60 bottle that I don't think you'll see it for less than 350 Yeah. I don't. So that's why we had it yeah. as the overall one seed ultimate tater. <laughs> Potato. Yeah. So it's taken on the benchmark bonded one of Jimmy and I's ultimate oh, faves. And it's twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Falling away every and day. And available everywhere except for Kansas. It yeah. doesn't have a secondary market, I promise. Yeah. I yep. literally just bought like twenty bottles of it, it felt like. <laughs> uh. So here we go. Oh. Now, if... Ultimate Cinderella story here, yeah. if this one comes through. <clears throat> yep. Well, see, even if it goes down, I had the VOB taking it down. Mm. The VOB went down in the first round for me. So Mike's we, bracket is Mike's already bracket shot. Shit. So, here we go. <laughs> right. These are both freaking good. Mm-hmm. Yep. This sucks. This is going to be tough. I want to do this one more. <laughs> no, I want to drink more, but... Uh, I don't want to pick a winner. Yeah. This needs to... Whoever moves on needs to have an asterisk by it, because... I think I'm going to... It doesn't matter. If these two weren't playing each other right mm -hmm. now, they would these, would be further. Moving on, these would be yep. moving on. But, like you said, in the, in the randomized way that the brackets were built... There was zero human input other than the number one seeds, just based on, you know, price availability, taterishness. But this one's tough, man. I'm okay. I'm. It should. I'm be locked. That. I got it. God dang it. I'm. Yep. I am too. And it's. I think it's going to be a disappointing. <laughs> you. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. What you? I'm going left glass. And it's, I'm, I'm going right. I'm going right. Oh! <laughs> I told you. I yeah. was wrong. That's, Jay, it was tough, man. I, it, listen, I was the, down there, to the right glass for me had a phenomenal toasted vanilla marshmallow mm -hmm. thing, and it was <clears throat> so freaking good. Yep. I think it's candied plummy cherry versus vanilla oh, oaky. It, I if think it was the if vanilla they're, that they're they're got me. There are two realms of... I'm Amazing telling you, whiskeys. if you like a, like a marshmallowy vanilla, toasted vanilla thing going on, which I I really like that, mm -hmm. this right glass has it. I'm starting to get fantastic. more and more into that the only thing, flavor too. The thing that made me choose was only the nose. Okay. The That's... nose, I like the nose on that one better. They were both really I, good to drink. I just the nose on this one I didn't like. I have it. a I have a suspicion of which one. Do you? I'm not sure. Okay. But the thing is, all these being hundred proofers, yeah, they kind of play in the same wheelhouse. So it's like, I so, can't be like, okay, I really know what this one is, even though I drink the bonded all the time. Yeah. I am gonna say that I think that the Rock Hill Farms is moving on I think only so. because I, I didn't we talk about the there was a vanilla toasted think, marshmallow vanilla. When you and I did the fresh crack, yeah. I think so. So Ooh. I think maybe. Show me. Benchmark is A. This one's B. <laughs> we just ousted a really expensive <laughs> model. Welcome to Thunderdome. Benchmark. Oh, oh. Benchmark bonded is moving. I'm not on. saying I accidentally filled that one in Good pick, buddy. after the play in oh. game, and now I don't have to scratch it out. Wow. wow. I'll be dipped. That is freaking awesome. Bottom shelf comes out with the guns loaded. You, you should have bought 25 or 30 bottles of that I stuff. can probably find my way back down there. And after this, <laughs> our viewers may run out and buy it all up. Price is going up <laughs> thanks to Thin Blue Whiskey. You're welcome. <laughs> there you have it. Wow. Rock Hill Farms. Yeah. The $350 secondary bottle. Number $60 one tater. $60 MSRP. Uh, never find it for $60. You guys have that overrated chance. Na, na, <laughs> na, 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 na. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. That wow. one's that's a toughie, but I'm happy to see Benchmark moving on. Mm. The OG. It's a Cinderella story. <laughs> that. It's that, it's better. I mean, I get where Jay was coming through with some of his stuff, but I just.
You can't fight fate, man. So you actually you bucks. actually like the Rock Hill Farms. I, I enjoyed a tater for once. It's weird. See? That's that's what's We're even all better. We're all changing. We're all growing here. Yep. But will I buy it over that one? Probably yeah, not. Why not? <laughs> well, that bottom part of that side of the bracket is now fi- or picked. We yep. have the benchmark bonded moving on against the Four Roses single. That's going to be a toughie, too. Oof. So, all right. Join us next time. We've got E.H. Taylor small batch going up against Mellow Corn. Good that luck. that feels like a tough That's one. another one seed versus a four seed. Yeah. Ugh. I have a feeling it's going to be a little uh, a little further of a game on this one. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time right here. Thin Blue Whiskey.